Hey friends, I'm here to talk about an issue that has been plaguing me and my channel and my videos for a while now, and that has to do with audio. And thanks to a YouTuber called Soundspeeds, I think I finally fixed it. I think I found the solution thanks to a video that he posted, and I watched it the other day, and it got me on the road to fixing the issue, because it seems like my problem wasn't exactly the same as his, but again, thanks to his ideas and, and suggestions, I was able to get mine sorted. So his video suggested that you open up Device Manager. So let's start by doing that. And here in Device Manager, in his video, he was also suggesting that we go to the sound over here, sound, video, and game controllers. And per his suggestion, we right click and disable almost every single device except for the one or two that you actually need for your audio and, and video and all that to work properly. So I disabled everything except for my HyperX Solocast, which is the mic I am currently using, and my Realtek Audio, which is controlling my speakers because yes, I want my speakers to work. Initially, I was also using NVIDIA Broadcast, so I'd left that there also, and um, that ended up being part of the problem. Now, I count on NVIDIA Broadcast for my video. The image here of me with the background cut out is all controlled by NVIDIA Broadcast, so I, I still love that software. I'm still planning on using that software, for the video image of myself because I don't know of another solution if anybody knows one that works really well that's low impact maybe then feel free to let me know in the comments below so again not going to get rid of Nvidia broadcast I'm just disabling all the audio features of Nvidia broadcast initially I was using Nvidia broadcast to filter the audio and remove noise to use the noise reduction feature of Nvidia broadcast but something about that software and my computer just didn't mix it just they did not like each other there was a constant plague of cracking and popping in audio and it was very off-putting it was very disturbing and i always noticed it maybe some of you managed to look past it or ignore it and for those of you who did and still watched my stuff thank you very much i think it's very generous of you to be able to ignore and or look past that audio because it drove me insane initially i had left Nvidia broadcast on but I was still getting that popping and the cracking during recordings and during live streams but since I stopped using Nvidia broadcast which was just I think the other day like yesterday my video has been perfect or at least as close to perfect as I can get it uh, it's it's been clear I haven't had cracking and popping during recordings or live streams and I'm someone who likes to play multiple accounts of EverQuest multiple instances and lately I've been running this six gnome group so I've been running six instances simultaneously of EverQuest and while it's an older game and it might not use graphics and, and, and CPU as much as some when you're using six instances of it it gets up there believe me. And so when I was doing that, especially the cracking and popping during live streams was just completely awful. And I think it's why I had not been getting nearly as many viewers on Twitch because of my audio problems. But now that it's solved, I'm hoping that people will start coming back and watching me on Twitch again because the, uh, the audio has been clear the past two streams that I've done. So again, I want to thank YouTuber Soundspeeds for making their video. You're a lifesaver. And I thought I would make my own video in case someone stumbles across my channel and is having the same problem. If you want to get rid of your cracking and popping, if you're using NVIDIA Broadcast, stop. And I know you're probably going to be like, why? That's crazy. No, it can't be that software. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not saying that the software is bad at all. I'm not trying to diss NVIDIA at all. I love NVIDIA and I love 
NVIDIA Broadcast because I still use it to cut out the image. But you don't have to use it for the audio. If you're using OBS or Streamlabs, it has its own built-in uh, noise reduction filter. And honestly, I think the OBS noise filter or noise reduction works better than the NVIDIA one. I also think that the Streamlabs one has been working better than the NVIDIA one. And to set that up, I can always try to make another video. Let me know if you're interested in how I set that up. It's not hard. You basically just, I think I just right clicked on the microphone on there and uh, you, you can go to filters and stuff. If not, again, I can make a video. I'm just, I'm just guessing from what I remembered that I did the other day. So all I did was right click on these. I hit disable. So that would, you know, just disable and then just disable everything until your audio stops working. Obviously, if it stops working, You've disabled too much and uh, you might need to do a few things differently. So initially for OBS, right, when I was recording, I had my audio input set as NVIDIA broadcast. Well, you can't do that anymore. If you have disabled it like I have, you're going to have to just use your microphone as the input. So you're just going to use the, the raw straight up audio from your microphone without it going through NVIDIA but then you can use OBS or Streamlabs to filter that sound and get rid of your background noise like if you have a fan running like I do or crazy neighbors or wind or just whatever and it seems to work just fine. I hope this helps somebody and if it does please leave a like please leave a comment uh, again I'm not a pro at this stuff. I just I just like making videos and live streaming. And uh, I feel like I'm kind of tech savvy, but not to the level that a lot of you are out there. Sometimes I still feel like the, uh, the foolish old guy who doesn't know technology all that well. But I'm getting through it. And I really hope that this video ends up helping somebody to get this sorted. Like I said, I just disabled things. Now here is one negative to all of this. Every time I boot up my computer now, I'll get multiple error messages saying that this and this and this doesn't work. So I might eventually start uninstalling some of this stuff because of the fact that it's driving me bonkers. But I don't know. I don't know if I can, if I could just try to learn to ignore it and just click off all the little warnings when I boot up but that may happen you may get a bunch of warnings when you boot up and if that does happen there is an option here to uninstall a device and I guess by uninstalling the device it might fix all the error messages so I haven't done that yet I'm considering doing it. What are your thoughts on it? Do you think that's going to break anything or, or not? I don't know. Again, I hope this helps somebody. And I'm so glad that my audio is working again. I mean, it was working before, but it was terrible. And now it's clear. If this video helped you in some way, consider liking the video and or subscribing. If you've got a friend with audio issues, consider sharing the video. That would be cool too. I just really hope to help people out because there isn't a whole lot of stuff out there when it comes to fixing audio like well maybe there is but all of the suggestions and all of the things that it says to do never worked none of it it was always like oh try this or that or unplug any unnecessary devices from your usb because maybe it's your usb or this or that and none of that stuff worked. The only thing that worked was this guy's video and me disabling NVIDIA Broadcast's audio components. And that's the only thing that fixed the issue for me. Everybody's different. Everybody's got different peripherals and stuff on their computer. So again, this worked for me. Maybe it'll work for you. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and a wonderful tomorrow.